It's good to have you with us. I am Ashley Mazuri and our sign language interpreter is Marisha Wheaty. Now let's start our bulletin with that horrific Londiani accident last night where the death toll of the multiple crash has now risen to 51. 29 others who survived the crash are still nursing injuries at various hospitals in Nakuru and Kericho counties. The accident, which happened yesterday evening, involved a trailer which lost brakes downhill while approaching Londiani Junction along the Mao Summit Kericho Highway. The trailer rammed into nine other vehicles. Ken Gashuri with that story. She's still coming to terms with the horror that visited Londiani, where 51 people were killed in the multiple accidents. <laughs> 6.30 p.m. on Friday, this trailer, which is now a shell of its former self, hit two bombs while approaching Londiani Junction while heading towards Kericho. The driver is said to have lost control of the loaded trailer, ramming into nine other vehicles, most of them matatus. Cristiano Obutu counts himself lucky to be alive with no injuries as his car was the first to be hit. Nikaipita. Kupita, nikakuja mpaka tukapika mpo maili wa wawo mama wananza kuuza, nikapita bumps ya kwanza. Bumps ya pili, kuenda kupita, because mimi nili slow down. Na heo najua sa hiyo haina break, inakuja. Bumps ya pili hapo ndili nipata. Ika nichapa. Ika nitawa kwa baraba. Ika nitawa kwa barabara. Like a sharp wedge, the chassis of the ill-fated trailer cut through the vehicles, leaving almost no chance for those on board to survive. Nikaona hiyo gari ya pili ambaye ilichapa, ilichapa Nissan. Ya tatu ikachapa HF. Ya hine ikachapa Nissan. Ikagonga ikakuja mpaka kwa hii gari unaona hapa nyuma yangu ambaye ina kochi. When the trailer finally came to a stop, Behind it was a trail of destruction of property and nearly a hundred lives at stake. Apart from those on board the vehicles, lives of border border riders, roadside traders and innocent bystanders had come to an abrupt end. <coughs> Hours later, the government would confirm that 51 lives had been lost. 29 survivors are still fighting for their lives, 20 at the Kericho County Referral Hospital and 9 others at the Nakuru Level 5 Hospital. Kenya mini lishtukia tu ni maani ni tu ziki pepea nisans and then kajipata ni kochini watu wa mehaga wako na huko. Tangu hiyo wakati sikuweza kujifamu hadi nikafikisho hospitali Londiani. Senior government leaders led by Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen arrived here to condole with the families. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba immediately kutoka jumatatu tunaanza kuweka speed signs kwa barabara kutoka pale juu na tuili kwa kikisha ya kwamba mambo ya speeding kutoka hapo imepunguzwa. At the same time, the government announced plans to read major highways of roadside traders who operate oblivious of the high risks. Soko na bar, na biashara ya recha recha itaondolewa kutoka road reserve ipelekwe kando kidogo tujenge masoko yenye tunaweza kusaidia watu wetu waendelee na biashara na wale wanapita barabara wakue na njia ya barabara ya kuingia kwa soko ili tuondoe ajali ambayo itafanyika kama hizi katikati ya barabara penye watu wanafanya biashara tukuje baada hii maneno tuongee maneno ya Aisha Kama isi amba hiko tayari, mimi niko tayari kama governor, tutuwe pesa ya emergency, tunuwe shamba hapa. Na sisi kama county, we will have done our part ya kupena shamba na kutafuta pesa kidogo tuchinge kama market na kasoko hapa. By the end of the day, more people were streaming in at the Londiani Hospital to identify bodies of their loved ones. The county and national governments pledging to help families foot medical bills of survivors and funeral expenses of the deceased persons. Meanwhile, a dark cloud loomed over Londiani 